we are starting our biology section for today. Just go out and explore. It's okay to try new things. It's okay to be wrong. Um, today they actually go inside a cell. The students have to put pieces of uh, different types of skin um, so that they can see how the skin regenerates. They actually go inside a cell and see all the different organelles, what we've been learning about this week, so it's really cool. It's more interactive, so you get to learn better than just reading it. I took uh, glucose out of a vacuole and put it into the mitochondria and it made an ATP. And then after the ATP, you put it in the nucleus and then to the ribosomes. Actually doing the modules as a teacher really, really inspired me to know this kids have to do this in class. Once seeing them talk with each other and tell each other, oh yeah, the nucleus, oh the mitochondria, those conversations is what makes it worth it. The, the individual, the person responsible for the development of this product, of this curriculum, is with us today. This is not Arupa. The students in Isleta are some of the first in the United States to use this program and everyone's going to be looking to you uh, to see how, how do we learn math with our bodies. The first thing I wanted to ask them is what are you seeing, what are you doing, because now learning is doing. Learning is not watching. Learning isn't an animation. You are physically in the, in the body and I, and I want to hear what are they experiencing, what are they feeling, what are they seeing. It is a supplemental uh, program. In other words, there are still three days a week where the students are pencil, paper, direct instruction, collaborative instruction. But for those two days, what they do is they take what the students have put pen to paper on and instead they show up, now let me show you how you'd solve a real world problem, something that's actually relevant. Uh, the melting of the, you know, the Arctic cap and what it's doing to sea levels and learning how math is critical uh, to solving those problems. This is my first year in biology and the VR tool has made it way easier to learn than just reading from a book or watching a presentation. 